Hello, my name is Bo James. I'm with uh, New Tech Lures, and I'd like to uh, tell you a little bit about our company and our products. So, if you look at the new jig, it's totally different than anything else on the market. Um, if you look at the head, it has very detailed angles all over the head. And when I designed this years ago, I didn't make this head to look like anything, like a bait fish or anything. Everybody, you know, they're into putting this realistic paint and stuff on there, but they don't really think about, does this thing actually work and hook? There's, there's no emphasis on that. They, uh, they make claims about stuff, but they don't prove anything. Actually, all these angles are for a specific purpose. They either help it in rotation, they actually work in how this thing falls, and this thing falls in the water, it falls more in a horizontal attitude. It actually, as it falls, will turn off like a bait fish. When you pull it over cover, instead of swinging like most lures do, jigs do, when you pull over cover, they want to like swing your leg over the fence action, and that's not natural. The new jig actually rolls on the axis of the hook as it comes over, and that rolling motion actually triggers more strikes. Here's something you can't do with traditional jigs, and this is pulled up to a limb. This thing will roll over. You got to get the feel for the guide arms, but it'll turn upside down, you can rock it sitting there bouncing it with the guide arm sitting against your limb. Then it turns back over upright when you fall over the limb. So as I was talking about design and every angle and things have something to do with this, right here is, is part of it. If you watch, every time that I drop this thing, it always writes itself up. It's like a cat. It always lands upright. That's why it does so much better and it's much more snag proof because it never rolls over on its side. It always stays upright. So that's part of the design in this thing. Another feature, and there again, this is performance wise this is the the run true frame uh, first thing is is you can change your head simply by unsnapping that and rolling the head off that allows you to be more flexible on the fly you can put different size head or color on there uh, also if you notice that frame is designed totally different than traditional frames and what this does, it allows it to run true at any retrieve speed and even if the wire's been out of line, it'll still run straight as a die and not roll over. The other thing is, do this with any of your spinnerbait frames you have now. Just bend them out straight as a string and let them go and see if they do that. Snap right back into shape and this is not titanium. It's regular spring stainless steel like everybody else's uses. The reason it does that is because of the technology in the frame. Uh, one of the new things that we're going to be coming out with shortly is this new 3 head. This is a prototype of it. Uh, you can see it has a slammer profile. Uh, it's made that way specifically because uh, a lot of people are going to want to put their soft plastics behind this so it'll fit in with the profile of your worms a lot better. If you need more weight, you do this like I've done for years and add a slip sinker onto your line up ahead of the jig. When I talked about a slimmer head being perfect for your uh, soft plastics, here's a setup, one of my favorite setups on Falcon is this 15 inch worm and of course with this prototype head and then I add a bead and usually at least a 3 8 ounce slip sinker to beat down through the brush or if we're fishing uh, some deeper structure so it'll it'll get down there and, and it's, a, it's a deadly combination. It's more uh, snag proof than a Texas rig you're fishing with an open hook. You don't have to worry about your plastic bottle and the throat of the hook up. Hooks more accurately. It's just a lot better set up than fishing a Texas rig. New Tech Lures.
Cape Rock Lake, fishing with Bo James, fishing that new jig technology. About to show you how we hook some fish. Where he's hooked. Right in the top of the head. New jig technology, high performance fishing tool. And see what I'm fishing? I'm fishing that worm on a prototype quarter ounce head, which we'll have those, they're probably less than a week out right now. So that's what I've been telling you is that it's a lot better way of doing things than fishing a Texas rig. And guess where he's hooked? Right to the top of the noggin. And fishing the worm on the jig head. Real Kentucky. Good part of that, most time you don't have to re-thread your worm, just stole it again. See if there's another one of those little ones out there dinging around. Guess where he's hooked? Right on top of the head again. Nice. New jig action. Yeah, okay. Says, all right, says, hit it. And hit it we will. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt <laughs> in the well, this tail, but I gotta catch this bass. We we'll get back to that. Wesley. Yeah, guess where he's hooked. Right in the top of the head. Look at that. High performance fishing tool every time. Yeah, wanna give him a kiss? No jig like it on the market. So anyway, back to my story. <laughs> <laughs> Good times fishing.